Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So guys, today is such a special video because my brush collection is finally here. It is available to purchase now. And I decided to make this video today so that you guys can know how to use each one of these brushes. This is gonna be like a brush tutorial. This brush set that I created, honestly, it is literally so beginner friendly and anybody can use. These are like your basic standard must have brushes. So let's get into the video so you can see how I use each of them. Before I do that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it, which I know you will. The full set is an 11 piece brush set. There is also a face set, which includes four face brushes, or you can just do just eye brushes and that's a seven piece set. Um, or you can do the full set, which includes everything. I would highly recommend the set that includes everything because it's just worth it. I know some people have a lot of eye brushes and they just need face brushes or vice versa. So do what's best for you. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrow brush. I'm gonna be applying my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pomade in dark brown and I'm just gonna be using that to apply this brow gel so it is nice and thin so you can get super precise with your brows I'm honestly you can even do like little brush hairs with this brush it's just that thin so it's really really easy to use and it picks up a good amount of product I'm just gonna be filling in my brows ever so slightly and I'm very much into like the more natural kind of fluffy eyebrow look anyway so I'm not gonna apply too too much product to my brows but I am gonna kinda do like those little strokes at the front here. I'm just gonna go in with some clear brow gel. This is from MAC, it's, it's not even clear anymore because I use it so much. This is basically gel for your eyebrows. So next I'm gonna be going in with this concealer brush. It is literally the perfect shape to conceal with. You can use this to carve out your eyebrows or even to apply concealer under your eyes or any part of your face actually. I like to use this to carve out my eyebrows so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. So I'm just using the Makeup Forever concealer and I'm gonna use this to carve out my brows. And this brush is perfect, guys. It's so, so perfect. And it's not too stiff. It's very easy to use. Easy peasy, right? I can also use this brush to do a cut crease as well, which I'm gonna kinda do today. Talk about precision, okay? And then I'm just using the same brush and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer. Wow. Yes, precision. And I love how it literally just blurs the concealer out into my skin. So I'm just gonna go back with my eyebrow brush because I took off some of the tail of the brow. Okay guys, so my brows are finished. That was so easy, so simple. I'm gonna go on to my eyes now. So I'm just gonna go back in with that same concealer brush and I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm just gonna put that concealer on my eyelid and then I'm just gonna use this concealer brush to blend that out. So next I'm going to be going in with this fluffy blending brush guys. This blending brush is amazing. So fluffy, so soft. It literally feels like silk. That's how soft it is. And this picks up just enough product, not too much, but just enough where you're going to get that blown out diffused look in your crease. So I'm going to be using an eyeshadow palette today, guys. I cannot show you guys specifically how the palette looks because this will be my next launch. Okay. This will be the next product that I'll be dropping. Um, already come on. So this brush is perfect for that. It, and it's also tapered as well a little bit at the tip so it really really does help to kind of go into the crease but also diffuse everything out at the same time 
I like to do circular motions, so I'm gonna be doing circular motions kind of going up towards my eyebrow. I don't like to go right to my brow, but I like to do circular controlled motions going all the way around this like bone here of my eye. It's like where the socket is, like literally right here is where I'm gonna be doing the circular motions. And I bring it a little bit above the bone of my eye because it's like when you open your eyes, you want that like soft diffused look. And when you do the circular motions, it really does help to give that really soft natural look. And then you can also build up the color to your liking. I like to start with a little at first and then I go in with a little bit more. And especially when I'm out here, I like to really, really swirl it because I don't like any harsh lines. So now I'm gonna be going in with my crease brush. This is the brush that I would use for my crease color because it's more dense. It's not as fluffy as the blending brush and it will help to keep my crease colors very saturated. So with this crease brush, I'm just gonna go literally in with a dark brown shade. And you guys can see already how much color was deposited with this brush, mainly because it does pick up a lot of color. So it's really, really good with um, adding definition to your crease area or your outer corner. So with this brush, I like to kind of pat on the darker color or whatever I'm using to deepen up my crease. I like to pat that on the outer corners and then I pat it in the crease area specifically. I'm not going above that transition shade. And then I like to kind of go back and forth and then do mini circular motions, literally keeping it right in the socket here. That's how you get that like nice gradient effect. And even though right now it looks a little like harsh, no problem. We're gonna go back in with our fluffy brush and fix that. So like I said, I'm gonna go back in with this blending brush. I'm gonna go where the transition color meets the crease color. I'm just gonna go back and forth, literally windshield wiper motions. So I'm just gonna go back in with my concealer brush and I'm gonna be taking a little bit of concealer on that actually and I'm gonna be cutting my crease a little bit. I'm just putting some of that on the back of my hand so I don't have too, too much concealer and I can go and dip onto my hand as needed. So I'm just gonna go and dab on to my lid first. And then I'm just going to literally stamp out my cut crease. Okay, so now that my crease is cut, I am gonna go back in with that dark brown shade that I used um, for my crease color, and I'm just gonna apply that back onto the very outer corners. And I like to do this because it adds to the gradient, okay? And this I'm just literally like stamping on, so I'm lightly flicking the color on the outer corners. So next I'm going into my shader brush. This shader brush is what's going to apply the color onto my lid, and I'm gonna be going in with a shimmery brown color. This is like one of my favorite colors in this whole entire palette. I am not, and I wouldn't recommend you guys doing this wiping motion. That will literally just erase all the work you just did. If you start wiping the color on, it's literally flicking off all the eyeshadow. So I would highly suggest that you pack it on, like press it in. You don't need to dust it away. You, you're putting the color on, leave it there. Okay, so the next shade that I'm going in with, I'm still using the same brush, but I'm just gonna flip it over on the other side. Um, I'm gonna be going in with like kind of a metallic glittery gold almost. Oh my God, wait till you guys see this. I think it's best applied with your fingers, but I'm gonna do it with the brush anyway. Yeah, so, ugh. <laughs> I love this shade. You guys, oh my, are you crazy? Just go back in with that crease brush, whatever's left over, because this is all about having a nice blurred effect. I like to go back in and just go over that outer corner again. 
just so everything has a nice gradient, okay? For the girls who love to do gel liner, I included this very skinny, very precise gel liner brush. And I'm gonna be doing gel liner today for you guys because I wanna demonstrate this brush. If you are a girl who likes gel liner, definitely this is something that you need. I'm just gonna use some um, brown gel liner. This is actually an eyebrow gel from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna use that. And the trick with gel, you wanna make sure that you're smoothing out your brush on both sides, right? See how thin it is? So I picked up all the color on the sides and it's really nice and thin. I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with a black pencil. And now I'm just gonna go in with my pencil brush actually. This pencil brush, guys, this is a must have. Since I have this kind of like warm, diffused look going on in my crease area, I am literally just gonna go in with this pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with the transition shade and the dark brown shade mixed together. And I'm just gonna smoke that into my lash line and you guys are gonna see the difference. Everything is gonna come together and be so complete. And it takes away that harshness of the black liner or whatever liner you're using on the bottom because literally it just blurs it out. It rubs it in and it adds a nice depth to the lower lash line. Like, come on. And at this point, I would even just go in with a little bit more of the darker shade. Sorry, I always do this when I'm doing anything on my lower lash line. Probably you guys as well, but. And at this point, you can even go in with some um, black as well. Mix in with the brown just so that you get a little bit more depth. I might do that depending on how I feel after. But you guys can see how it literally just tied everything together. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of black. Okay, so there we go, my eyes are complete. So I'm just gonna go in with some primer. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And you guys know I love this primer so, so much, especially because my skin is more dry right now. For my foundation today, I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Marquises. So now I'm gonna be going in with my Flat Top Kabuki brush. I am obsessed with this brush. I was never using brushes like this for my foundation until I started putting together this collection. And honestly, I have not stopped. I either use this or my Beauty Blender, but to be honest, this has been doing the trick so well and it leaves my foundation full coverage. Sometimes I find with the blending sponge, it kind of takes away some of your products, whereas this literally leaves everything as is and just blends it out so perfectly.
Okay, so for my concealer, I'm going back in with the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced, and I'm just gonna use this. Um, again, this is in the shade Butterscotch, and I'm just going to be applying that right under. So I'm going to be cream contouring today. So one of my subscribers suggested that I try this Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Stick Foundation in the shade Mocha. Yes, I'm just going to apply some, a little on my forehead area, some here, maybe some on my nose. It's looking like it's going to be okay, actually. I'll apply some right here too. So I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and literally I'm just going to flick it going upwards because I know that this brush will blend everything out like flawlessly and perfect. Oh my God, yes, yeah, blending out so well. So I like this Huda Beauty uh, setting powder in the shade Kanafa, and I also love the new Laura Mercier Honey Powder. Um, I think I might kind of dip into both today. The brush that I'm going to be using is my bronzer slash highlighter brush. This brush is my absolute favorite. It is literally so soft and so fluffy, but dense at the same time. I use it for bronzer, I use it for highlighter, I use it to set my under eyes. I love this brush so, so, so much. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to be pressing in that powder guys it literally just applies the perfect amount every single time so nice and flawless like that just does the trick guys I just like when everything is mattified and set. And I do like to kind of go over my brows as well because I find that my brows get real shiny. You guys probably have noticed. Uh, my brows get a little shiny for some reason. So I like to just set the center of my face. So next I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, but I'm actually just gonna use it as like a setting powder. You can use this on its own. I just reviewed this for you guys. It's gonna be the video, two videos before this one. Um, but I'm gonna be going in with this super luxe soft powder brush. Like this brush is so fluffy and so luxurious. It's uh, like a medium density. It's not like a loose fluffy powder brush, but it's also not super stiff. It's so soft and so fluffy, but it picks up enough product. It's not like gonna be a waste of time using this brush, okay? So I'm just gonna be dabbing that into the powder. So I'm nice and set. And yes, I do like to go over the areas that I just highlighted because I like when everything is very seamless. So anything big and fluffy like this would be meant for powder. I only use these to set my face or you can kind of use it for like bronzer, but I find that this is really um, big for that. And I do have an angle brush that you guys can use for that as well. So like I was saying about angle brush, I'm gonna go in with my angle brush. I'm gonna use this to do my powder contour and I'm just gonna be going in with the Morphe Brontour Contour Palette. This is in the shade Showman, so I'm just dipping into that a little bit, dusting some off. And why I like angled brushes is because they literally are so precise. They go exactly where you need. It just hugs your face. So I wanted it to go right here on my cheek, and it literally is just hugging that area right there. And that's how I... Same thing with on my forehead. I'm kind of setting the contour a little bit. along your chin. And for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using this Brownie Bar Palette from Beauty Bakery. I'm just going in with that gold highlighter there. And like I said, my favorite brush is so diverse, guys, that I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna dip it into the highlighter. 
picking some of that up there. And you guys have seen me use this in my videos like numerous times because I've been featuring my brushes in my videos for a few months now. I am literally just going to apply that right onto the cheek and look at that. Come on. This is like so perfect. That. And the motion that I'm doing, I'm not going back and forth, back and forth. Again, I like when things are diffused. So I'm taking it and I'm literally bringing it down. Cause that way, at least it brings it down into the contour or the blush or whatever you're doing. Um, and lightly, I'm not going heavy handed. I'm lightly bringing it downwards onto my face. And I like to bring it back as well, like that. Um, I'm just gonna spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. So to line my lips, I'm going in with my favorite lip liner. This is Bar from Morphe, and I'm just going to line my lips. Next, I'm just gonna go in with this Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Daringly Nude. It's like a pinky nude color. And then next, I'm just gonna go in with the Nisha Faith lip gloss. This is in the shade Corset. Yep, this is the look. So pretty, oh my God. I'm so in love with how this look turned out. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new in this video as well. Some new tips, some new tricks, some new techniques, maybe even like an easier way to do something. Uh, this is specifically how I like to use my makeup brushes. Um, yeah, so makeup is very customizable, guys. You can do as little as you want or as much as you want. So easy to go like real natural and to go real dramatic. It's everything you need is in one kit, okay? So yeah. Don't forget to follow Sani Beauty Cosmetics. Also, now that my brushes have launched, you guys can click the link down below to go straight to my website. I really appreciate you guys, all your support and everything. Like you guys have been sending me so much positive messages about this journey. More of the behind the scenes on my whole process and everything are in my vlogs. I will be documenting this whole journey for you guys. And yeah, so if you guys wanna see the behind the scenes and stay up to date with what I'm doing in my personal life, go ahead and check out my vlogs because everything is there, okay? Love you guys. Bye.